Amratseu. Mukitu omu mwaba Judah wa ibate. Me jeso anyuru hela Jerusalem. Lis hale te tuing hari ki mi khogo e mi khanu. Lina lili teng Jerusalem. Mwenyako ngwadi nku. Lebi tuwa mbe testa kasi hebeu. Huna husi kama huyo nabu ngata bobo hulu. Jwa batu bakulang. Difofu. Lidi khota. Liba omele tindito. Bane mbante balibeleti puduo ya meiti. Hobani linge lwai. Lina li tosi li tenka mi kha emi. Lifuduwe meiti. Me ya nenga kena li tempili. Hobani meiti afuduwe. Une afodi iswa. Leha ane akakula. Kali fuli fili liti. Muna emo une alite mo. Ya kutinka di limote mashume amararu amizu irobi leng mino ili meidi. Jesu ha mona asikami. Me atiba hubani ise ili na kwa etelele akula. Aruhuye na. Na urata hufola na. Ya kulang amu araba ari. Murena. Hakina mutu yang kenyan li teng. Hameti asat wa fuduwa. Kirikisa li teng. Kirikisa ta teng. Emung ate uhele pili huna. Jesu aruhuye na. Ema, nga di pateta hau utamaye. Muna ewu atha afola hang. Nga di pateta hai atamaye. Atili tatilewu, yabe ili la sabada. Yaba bajuda baru huya fodisitwengi. Ki sabada, hau walu kela hujara di pateta hau. Aba araba ari, yam podisitengi. Ki ena ya itengu huna. Nga di pateta hau utamaye. Ema na mwa. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time. He said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I'm coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well took up his bed and walked. And that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, it is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. This is your word, O oh God. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. We bless the Lord for his word in the name of Jesus. Amen. And um, thank you for coming. And the Lord God bless you. It is always a blessing to see you in the House of the Lord. Greetings to my sponsor. All the servants of God that are in this house. And everyone in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the grace of God does not have limitations. Say it like you want to say the grace of God. The grace of God. I want to hear you shout and say the grace of God does not have limitations. The 
grace of God. Has not helped me in patience. We thank God for his grace in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Lord, your grace, O God, over my life. In the name of Jesus. We looked at Jesus last week that Jesus studied the Torah. He studied the Torah. The, 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 the books of the law. He was actually the scholar and the student of the law. He mastered the law. And, and we said that um, they were um, teachers of the law were amazed at his understanding. He studied and he mastered the law. Up until he became the standard. The law of Moses was difficult in a way that nobody must study the law. And I want to Submit this to you. We are saved not by the works. But by the grace and the grace alone. Look at your neighbor say neighbor. It is by the grace of God. That we are saved. Say neighbor. It is by the grace of God. So Jesus gave us access to that which the law denied us. So Jesus was actually the grace of God unto mankind. Mm. So works were never enough to please God. Because no one must start the law. So Jesus became the standard. Jesus became the standard. The law was never ooh, nobody mastered the law. Whenever you want to please God by works you will never you will not succeed. It is by the grace that we are saved. And no one has to try to keep by works that which he received by the grace of God. We received salvation by the grace of God. And we don't have to keep it by our works. It is not our works that gave us salvation. It is the grace of God. And therefore we don't have to keep by works what the grace gave us. Look at say, neighbor. It is by the grace of God that we are saved. Say, neighbor. It is by the grace of God that we are saved. The law had do's and don'ts. The grace of God does not have do's and don'ts. But it enables you to do. According to the law, one had to do something for the Lord to do something for them. For instance, according to the law, for one to be forgiven, they had to forgive first. Hmm? The law requires one to forgive for them to be forgiven. 
but grace forgives you and gives you ability to forgive. The law requires one to give for them to be blessed. But in the grace of God, we are blessed and the blessing of the Lord empowers us to give. The law, according to the law, for you to be loved, you had to love first. But the grace of God loved us and accepted us just the way we were. It is by the grace of God that we are able to love God and others. Look at him as a neighbor. It is by the grace of God. So you don't have to try to keep by your works what you have been given by the grace of God. We are not the people of the law. We are the people of the grace of God. Walking and living in the grace of God. So Jesus became the standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he taught them in the book of Matthew 5. He said that Moses told you that whosoever who's committing adultery must be put to death. But I say unto you, if you are looking at the woman with lust, you have already committed adultery. That is another standard. And if you want to practice the law, Jesus is the standard. You can't. You cannot. It, it is by the grace of God. It is by the grace of God. You see, the problem is the law. It looks at like the things that were not done. When grace Osheba looks hamotwa to say when a person is being held. Ona lohore Osheba din tozeme motwa sadiza. Instead of looking at what the person did not do. Are you with me, Church of God? Lena lena kiragia mudim. The law focuses. Mola wa Osheba la on actions. Dikes o. Grace does not pay attention on actions. Mohau ha Osheba dikes o. Oh my God. You see, Molao, go on out is an religion. Law brings religion. Go on out is an religion. Law brings religion. But to Baba religious, people become religious because of the law. I'm going to show you one thing. Kito bon sata bay lung. You see, how am I dressed? There are people who will hear me based on how I look. There are people who will listen to me based on how I am dressed. They come in short sleeves and try to bridge there are people who will not listen to me. There are failure to listen to me. They will 
again say they did not hear God. Are you with me? Not the boring preacher, son. <laughs> eh? There are people. You see, religion is dangerous. I want to make this example again. Here is the sister. Singing for us. Not from you, eh? Singing for us. Singing for us. Every day, Monday to Friday, she lives her life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sunday she comes. Ministers. They feel God. Monday she continues. With her life, she's, she lives her life. You know? Why get it at Jeff she does what she likes. Come on. Sunday she comes. All of me, oh God. Huh? Have it all. We cry. Really? You know, who get goosebumps, who get the presence of God. And then it happens that she catches. And she comes to me in secret. Man of God, can I sit down? Because now I am pregnant. Okay, daughter, sit down. It's fine. After a few months, the stomach is, is visible. When the belly is visible enough, she asks for the, to give for an item. And she sings the same songs that she used to sing. All of me, oh God. <laughs> yeah. And now we are no longer crying and praying in tongues. We are no longer feeling what we used to feel. Now, can I ask, where, lies, why, where does the problem lie? Is it with the person? Or is it with how we perceive? I'm just asking. This person has been living her life. Her own way. Now that we can see the belly, we are no longer feeling God. Are we not feeling God because God did not manifest? <laughs> Let me answer you. We are not feeling God because of the minds and the mentality of the law. For example, I'll say this is the word. I'll say this is the word. Because all along, she has been living her life and we did not know. Now that the results are there, then we are saying, we are no longer feeling God. It is not God. Yes, I'm manifesting. Who does not manifest? It is us based on what we are seeing. Look at him and say, neighbor, may the Lord help his church. Say, may the Lord help us. You, you know, I don't feel her. It's as if the Holy Spirit has departed from her. Let me help you. The Holy Spirit will never depart from a person. If he comes, he stays permanently so. It is us who leaves the presence. It is not the presence that leaves us. 
It is the spirit of condemnation that makes people to leave from the presence. God asked them a question. Where are you? Here we are, we are hiding. Why are you hiding? Because we are naked. And then he asked them, who told you that you are naked? I have not said so. Who told you that? Ask your neighbor, neighbor. Who told you you are filthy? Who told you you are filthy? Because of the mistakes that we have done. Who told you the presence of God has left you? I came to remind you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is not by the works. But it is by the grace. And the grace alone. We are in the presence of God. We have the presence of God upon our lives. And ain't nothing. There is nothing. That can be able to take that away from us. It is the gift of God. It is the gift of God. It is the gift of God. The Bible says we have not been given the spirit of timidity, but we have been given the spirit of God in whom we call our Father. That boy, the Bible calls him a prodigal son. He is a son, but he has a condition. He has a son, but he has a condition that is called prodigal. But he is still a son by relationship. He is still a son by relationship. He may have lost fellowship. He may have lost fellowship, but by relationship. He is a son. By relationship, he is a son. What is your name? Wagaban. What is your name? Wagaban. Wella Fats. Wella. How are you? Stand up. Wella Fats. Wella. What is your name? This is. Wagaban. Stand up. What is your name? Run. Mata. Come back. Uta. What is your name? Ndaga. What is your name? Ndagan. So when Umusbusi so Ndagani Umile Umusbusi so Ndagani Upansi Umusbusi so Ndagani Ukijima what you are doing does not change your identity. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. What I am doing does not change who I am in God. <laughs> it is by the grace of God that we are saved. The Bible says in him we live in him we move in him we have our being in him we live in him we move in him we have our being ask your neighbor who are you who are you how tabile you are still the child of God. Even when you are angry, you are still the child of God. Even when you are wrong, you are still the child of God. I say, even when you are wrong, no mawonile, umumtanagam kulunkulu, in Toyanzayo, I sing to you, in position yako, I know who I am. I know who I am. Look at him as a neighbor. I know who I am. I know who I am. 
If I have three kids and one of them is naughty, oh, and one of them is naughty, the question will be asked. The naughty child, who is the parent of the naughty child? Though the child is naughty, he is still a child. Though he is naughty, he is still a child. Look at him as a neighbor. I am still the child of God. I am still a child of God. I am still the child of God. And the grace of God is teaching me today. The grace of God is teaching me how to do it right. It's teaching me how to get it right. The Bible says in Titus 2. It says in Titus 2. For the grace of God. The grace of God has appeared unto all men. And this grace teaches us. This grace teaches us to say no. By my ability, I won't be able to say no. By my strength, I won't be able to say no. Listen, the grace of God. When Savannah comes, the grace of God. This is me to say no. When cigarette comes, the grace of God. When lie comes, the grace of God. This is me. It is not by the works. It is not by the works. It's not by the works. But it is by the grace. It's by the grace of God. It's by the grace of God. It's by the grace of God. I prophesy upon somebody after today's service what used to torment you when it comes again. The grace would have taught you to say no. To say no. At first, you could not say no when they were saying to you, let us go party. But I prophesy the grace of God is enabling somebody today to be able to stand firm and to say no to everything that is ungodly. Look at him and say, neighbor, say, neighbor, Ushase one judge. The grace of God is teaching me now. Say neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Ushase one judge. The grace of God is teaching me now. In the name of Jesus. If that person is you, say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. I said the grace is teaching you. It is not by the works. It is by the grace. It's not by the works. By grace. Listen to me as I'm about to close. In the grace of God. Whatever Jesus is asking us to do. He is actually enabling us to do first. He will not say to you. Be holy, for I am holy. If he has not capacitated you to be holy, he will not say to you, go and sin no more. If he did not give you power to go and sin no more, he will not say to you, rise up and walk. If he did not enable you or give you the power to rise up and walk, Look at him as a neighbor. Lento Moose. Say Lento Moose. Say this is the grace of God. Say neighbor. You can I give a heart. It's grace. It's grace. He will never require you to do. Something that he has not given you an ability to do. Never. Uh-uh. Never. 
keke. I say never. Kere akeke. They are bringing a woman. Batisa musadi. And then they're saying to him. Jole bari huena. Moses taught us. Moshe ururuti. People who are doing such acts. Hore baya tsandi keto tsena. Should be stoned to death. Batame hore batle pitwa kamao. That is the law. Kimula wo. And grace spoke. Java hubu wa moha. Grace said. Moha wari. Anyone who does not have any, this sin with her. Yes. This one with her. Let him be the first one to cast the first stone. And all of them ran away. And again grace spoke. Grace said. Woman. Go and sin no more. Woman I have given you the power. And ability over sin. Listen. Grace. Is not a license to sin. It was not a license to sin. It has never been. But grace it is actually an empowerment. And an enabling power of God. That enables us not to sin anymore. Why are we not sinning? It is by the grace of God. Why are we leading a holy life? It is by the grace of God. It is not by might. Neither by power, but it is by the grace of God. Say neighbor, it is by the grace of God. It is by the grace of God. Please tell this person sitting next to you, it is by grace of God. God. It is grace. Tell your neighbor it is grace. It is grace. Please tell them it is grace. I want you to tell them it is It is by the grace of God. 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 He made eyes. He, he created eyes. He created eyes for the blind man in John 9. And then he said to the man, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. He would not have said, go and wash. Without giving him eyes first. So he had to give him eyes first. About who and go and wash. And then say to him, Jesus, whenever he asks you to do something, he gives you an ability first. I came to tell you this morning. Somebody is receiving an ability to do what is right. Somebody is receiving power to do what is right. Look at him as a neighbor. That person is me. Say that person is me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, he would not have said to Lazarus, come forth, if he had not, he would not have said to him, come forth. So he had to raise him first. Oh, so that he would be able to come out. And Lazarus, the way he came out, thank God, the feet were still bound. So he had no choice but to jump. He had no choice but to jump. Grace is enabling us to jump in the name of Jesus. Whatever opportunity that we missed by our failures, by our mistakes, grace is enabling us to jump towards the future. If you hear me, say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Somebody is receiving power to jump. I say somebody is receiving grace to jump to their destinies. In the name of Jesus, you have been broke for too long. You have been broke for too long. You have been sick for too long. 
Get ready to jump. There is an anointing that will enable you to jump in the name of Jesus. No more processes. No more procedures. If you hear me, shout yes. If you hear me, shout yes. I told you last week in Mark 3, in Mark 3, there was a man with a wrinkled hand. With a wrinkled hand, Jesus looked at the people, the teachers of the law, because the law denied the man an opportunity to be healed because it was Sabbath. But thank God the grace was around. The grace looked at them with anger. But the grace addressed the situation of the man. You are going to the dimension where Jesus will look at demons, look at witches and wizards, and be angry at them. Instead of addressing them, he will address you. He will address you. He said to the man, Press your hand out. I came to tell you, Press your hand out. You must be able to do that which you are not able to do before. In the name of Jesus, it's time to stretch out our hands. It's time to move forward. Look at him and say, neighbor, we are moving on. The grace of God, the grace of God is enabling us. If you hear me, say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. The devil is a liar. I see people stretching forth their hands. Your hand has been, had been shot for too long. But from today, you are stretching out your hand. You are going to reach destinies that you were not able to reach before. Going to reach doors that you could not reach before. Going to reach possibilities. Going to reach miracles. If you hear me, shout yeah! The grace of God. The grace of God. Am I preaching today? Am I preaching today? The grace of God. Somebody is being healed without being laid hands on. In the name of Jesus. For grace is available. Grace is available. Grace is available. What can you say? About the grace of God. I want you to preach. <laughs> Bless the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. It was not, it was not that there was a problem. It was only because the grace was at hand. They were right. Moses had said it. But the time and the season of Moses has passed by. Jesus was in the house. It was not that they were wrong. No. The law had said it. But one thing they didn't know that it was a different season. And now they brought the woman and to Jesus. Jesus himself. He came for one thing. He came for us. The reason why Jesus was not, did not go to the synagogue. He did not come to the self-righteous. Those who thought they were self-righteous. But he came for the woman. The appointment of the day was with the woman. But he decided to sit and wait for the choosers to bring her. Bring her unto him so that he can prove that he's the son of man. He does not condemn, but he is the standard of grace. The grace of God. He does not condemn. 
when he comes to save look at him and say neighbor this is your day in the name of Jesus I don't care what you have done I don't care what they said about you I don't care what they did to you but the grace of God the grace of God is in the house is in the house is in the house the medical report that you received I came to nullify it in the name of Jesus grace is lifting you up grace is lifting you up look at your neighbor and wave unto them say neighbor 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 we are going higher say higher higher listen to me as I'm closing Jesus was in the house having a crusade the Bible says and the power of God was present for healing signs and wonders it was packed it was full and the Bible says four men came carrying one man and when they realized they had no way they decided to break the roof they decided to break the roof as Jesus was preaching he saw a man leaning down instead of accusing them he said to them how great is your faith listen to me the law will accuse you but grace grace will help you out I say the law will tell you that what you have done is wrong the law will say to you this is what you should have done but grace will say to you what kind of faith is this one somebody is getting ready to rise somebody is getting ready to rise if that person is you say yeah. can I go further 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 he came to the pool the pool of Bethesda and the Bible says this man had been lying there for 38 years for 38 years people passed him nobody helped him he was there for 38 years I'm talking to somebody who's saying to me man of God I have been giving and tithing submitting my prayer request yet nothing seems to be working out I came for you I came for you in the name of Jesus Christ this man was carried by a bed for 38 years when Jesus came he said to him take up your bed and begin to walk he would not have been able to pick it up if he was not given the grace to do so listen to me grace is enabling you today to rise above that which has been carrying you in the name of Jesus somebody is getting ready to rise if that person is you I want you to shout yes shout like you want to I know it's hot and I'm hot as well but I want you to shout like you want to raise your way out raise your way out raise your way out somebody's being healed right now deliverance is here raise your way out in the name of Jesus shout 
your way out in the name of Jesus. Shout your way out. Can you still continue? Can you still continue? I want you to shout. Shout your way out. Shout your way out. I had people testify about healing and about curse. You are next in line. You are next in line. In the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout yes, Lord. Shout yes, Lord. Your mistakes, your mistakes cannot deny you access. I say your mistakes cannot deny you access. Your errors cannot deny you access. When grace comes, it does not ask who and what went wrong. When grace comes, it just comes without checking the conditions. When grace comes, it just comes without checking the CV. Somebody is about to receive the grace of God over anger, over fear, over anxiety, over depression, over failure, over poverty, over closed doors. If you believe, say yes. The grace of God. I say the grace of God. I say the grace of God. Look at him and say, neighbor. It is the grace of God. That is taking me higher. Higher than I thought. Higher. Higher. In the name of Jesus. He said to the man. Take up your bed. Bring me that chair. If you have been carrying by a bed, and then he says, Rise up and carry what used to carry you. You don't do it like this. You put it here. We did someone. 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 As a sign that you now have power over what used to have power over you. I want you to think of every negative report and begin to carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. This time, we are not just carrying it to show off, but we are picking them up, carrying them, and we are not going to put them somewhere. No, 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 no. But the Bible says in the book of Peter, it says, Chest, chest all your patterns unto Jesus, for He cares for you. I want you to do like this. All of us do like this. That is your case. You are carrying your case. That sickness. That failure. That bitterness. That anger. That brokenness. That powerlessness. In the name of Jesus. Everything that had been doing the way it is liking on top of your body begin to carry them begin to carry them and begin to smile because in front of you there is a man of Galilee his name is Jesus his name is Jesus he cares for you he cares for you come on church one are you ready? Two. Are you ready? I've been carrying you. I've been carrying you. I've been carrying you. You have been tormenting me. 
since 2015. I don't know when you've been tormenting me since 2011. I don't know when in your case you've been tormenting me since January. You've been tormenting me since I was growing up. Been tormenting me since I was born. Today, I divorce you. Today, I divorce you. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus. 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 That sickness is gone. That failure is gone. That anger is gone. Whosoever the Son of Man set free, he is free and free indeed. That depression is gone. Thank you. You are doing so well. Yes. Kuma Musa. Kuma Musa. Somebody is receiving that which tablets could not give them. Somebody is getting what medication could not give them? Somebody is getting what the system could not give to them. In the name of Jesus, somebody is getting what treatment could not give to them. Somebody is getting what your CV, your degree could not give it to you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the day, the day of healing, the day of empowerment has come. Kuma Musa, it is by the grace. Find the Christ! Find the Christ! I say somebody Somebody is receiving what the world could not give to them. Somebody is receiving what their minds their experience could not give to them. Somebody is receiving what the hospital, what doctors could not give to them. The grace of God. Wombs are opening up. Wombs are opening up. People are conceiving. They are conceiving. They are breakthroughs. Their greatness, their money, their holiness, their cars, the day of greatness has come. Still feeling the pain. 
if you still feel the pain in your body in your emotions continue casting continue casting until you feel and until you know that you are healed continue continue cast that barrenness cast that barrenness cast that barrenness cast that burden in the name of Jesus cast it to him what you could not tell to your pastor cast it to him what you could not share with your friends cast them to him what you could not share with your husband with your wife with your parents cast them to him this is the day you cannot leave this place the same as you came I don't know about you but I refuse to leave this place the same as I came in the name of Jesus I must leave this place with my miracle I must leave this place with my healing Thank you, Lord. Those who have been behind, they have been moved to the front. They are being moved to the front. The tails are becoming the heads. In the name of Jesus. Those who are beneath. They are being moved to the top. It's your season. It's your season. It's your season. 